this is a quick video I want to do. I want to talk about some of the most hype basketball shoes that's coming up in differences between them. Mm, just which ones would you want one versus the other? To me, right now in the basketball spectrum of shoes, it's four shoes. They got the Nike Hyper Dunk 17s, Adidas Crazy Explosives, the Jordan 32s, and the LeBron 15s. I'm going to throw the Crazy Explosives out and the Hyper Dunks out. Although those are two great shoes, this is what I really want to focus on. The Jordan 32s versus the LeBron 15s. Which shoe would you get what's going to be the most versatile shoe for fashion, performance, etc. Comfortability. Comfortability. <laughs> Which one will be more comfortable and stuff. Just from looking at pictures and things like that, I think fashion wise, I would think so far the Jordan 32s look a little better. I think as far as the color schemes, because the LeBrons so far they have the that gray colorway they showed and they had like a tannish colorway. The other one is the Kiths. So that's a whole different thing right there. That is not a general release thing. Maybe something we'll never see. I don't know. We, they'll probably have it, but a lot of people won't be able to get them. But anyway, on the regular color schemes, I think the Jordans, that all red colorway and the the black colorway is a little better than that gray and that tan. Like, as far as fashion, I think they, they're more fire. Uh, certain performance aspects of the shoes, they have the, uh, the Jordan 32s have their flight, their flight, uh, whatever I think is the name of it. Uh, the LeBrons have, have the air, air zoom pods and shit. The, the LeBrons, they have the, the full air seal, but it seems more flexible this time around because they broke it up into, into little sections. So it seems like in the top, being that, that it's all that, that fly knit and it's a new form of fly knit to the, to the point where they could do the whole shoe and they could put durability. There's like, at the beginning of the shoe, you, you look at it and you like scales or something, but it's really... Not as, as far as like scales, like as far as dragons and Game of Thrones. It's, it's more for the support. Like that is that is the te the new technology and how they were able to use fly knit and make it make it flexible but also durable. So that is that is the way to make it durable. That scale type design. Uh, the Jordans. They they look. They look cold, man. I, I really, I really like them Jordans. They have certain things like with my feet, certain things with, with the shoes. I think the LeBrons might be a little bit more comfortable being that, that full zoom and that, that knit. It looks like the Jordan. I, I'm, I'm just going off assumptions. But like that, that two, the Jordan two, uh, they got them things, that the wings and stuff. It seemed like they might not be as uh as flexible around the the ankle collar area and the i have skinny ankles so some shoes that i wear like they kind of cut into they kind of dig into my ankle like if i have low socks on and stuff like in with the lebrons being that, that full fly knit i don't think they'll it'll have any digging because i think it's, it seemed like it would be kind of like like pliable like uh like the KD tens, like I seen those those KD tens in the mall and, and like the that flexibility with them and, and uh the the Vapor Max they have that flexibility so I think the LeBron will be similar the the Jordan doesn't have that much giveaway uh it has a knit on the forefront so 
that's that's my my comparisons and stuff. I I keep going on, but I I don't, I don't know what is what are y'all opinions. I think as far as if I if I was to play, like if I was in school and I and I needed a shooter playing, hmm, might get them hyper dunks. <laughs> Just for playing. Just for playing, but being I want I want either the LeBron 15s or the Jordan 32s. I think I think the, the LeBron's I already said this already. The comfort factor, I would go with with the LeBron's. From from what I'm hearing so far, the Jordans are performing very well. It's one of the best performing shoes in in a long time. It's just like Jordan 29. Is he's running a race with that? I think as far as grip, like the Jordan, it has kind of a flat design, but it has like all them triangles and stuff like that. And some things like it might look flat, but when it has certain designs on it, it grips the court a little better. I think the the Jordans would have more grip. Like as far as the LeBrons at the bottom, it doesn't doesn't look. I'm pretty sure it'll have grip on on, a, on the inside court and stuff, but it doesn't look like. It'll hold on all surfaces. And probably both of them won't hold too great outside. Like maybe the Jordans with a uh, a rubber outsole. But like as far as like like certain ones with a with a translucent. Like translucent. Don't don't bring translucent to outside court. But I'm I'm trying to make a decision. If I had one. I think I think I would lean towards the Jordan tw the Jordan 32, just just in terms of the look, cause the Lebrons the Lebrons man I like them, I like the technology of them, but the look of them still hasn't got me. Maybe more colorways in the future, I would lean towards, but as far as just the look right now, I think those Jordans are the Jordans are fire. Like just something just to wear, I would lean towards them Jordans. But I would like to get them both. I, I really want them hyper dunks too. Them hyper dunks, vapor maxes. Uh I'm like I'm roasting somebody. Ah bucket heat bar right there. Uh yeah, but that's a that's a few shoes I would look I would look out for that I want personally. Vapor maxes. John 32s, LeBron 15s, what else I have on my radar? Mm, that's all I can think of right now, but the, the hyper dunks, the hyper dunks, I guess I said that. But this is the end of the video. John 32s versus LeBron 15s. I will go as far as just to wear right now. John 32s. That's my opinion. Until more colorways come out, we shall see. Peace out.